Hi there again, everybody. It's Dr. Turnquest Roll with our last math lesson for this week, and we're still counting nickels. Here are our learning goals for today. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to identify both Bahamian and American nickels. You are to be able to determine the value of a group of coins. And you should be able to match equivalent values of coins. Are you up for this challenge? I'm glad because here we go. The Bahamian nickel is what we looked at in our last lesson. If you remember correctly, the Bahamian nickel has a pineapple on one side, and our coat of arms on the next. You should also remember that when we count nickels, we count in fives. Do you remember how to count in fives? When we count in fives, we count every fifth number. So it'll sound something like this. Five cents, 10 cents, 15 cents, 20 cents, 25 cents, 30 cents, 35 cents, 40 cents, 45 cents, 50 cents, 55 cents, 60 cents, 65 cents, 70 cents, 75 cents, 80 cents, 85 cents, 90 cents, 95 cents, one dollar. The American nickel is a little different. On one side of the nickel, there is a picture of a building. But I want us to pay very close attention to the shapes on this building. There is a semicircle at the top and a triangle of some sort right underneath. Another trick to looking at a nickel is the value is written right on it. So the value says five cents. Do you see it? Let me help you look a bit closer. Do you see where it says five cents? Do you see the semicircle and the triangle? Very good. That's the tail side. On the head side, there's this guy. Here's what I want you to pay very close attention to about this guy. He has a ponytail. Do you see it? But the biggest thing I want for you to remember is the nickel is going to have its value on it. And the value of a nickel is Five cents. So always remember when we count nickels, we count in fives, of course. Do you remember how to count in fives? Go ahead, use the chart to help you. Do you remember how counting in five changes when it's counting money? We add cents. And instead of saying 100, we say $1. Very good. Now, here's a picture of a worksheet that has American nickels. I want you to look at this worksheet and get it done. Do you remember how much a nickel is? Do you know how to find all the nickels down here in the box? Once you've found them, I want you to count them and write how many there are in this box with your finger. Or you can get a sheet of paper and write it down. So when it's time for us to check, I'm gonna give you a few minutes with this and then I'll be back with all the answers. Are you ready, my super counters? Well, go ahead.
I'm back, everybody. Let's review the answers. How did you do? Well, a nickel is five cents. There were one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven nickels in this picture. Did you get it right? Now here's something interesting. Five pennies is the same as one nickel? Really? One nickel is the same as five pennies. So that means you can say five cents with a nickel or you can get five cents with one, two, three, four, five pennies. Did you lock that into your memory bank? I sure hope so. Here's another challenge for you, but I want us to do it together. Are you ready? Well, here we go. We need to match the equivalent groups of coins. That means we need to match the groups of coins that have the same value. Remember, when we count nickels, we count in fives. So here's the smart thing to do. We're going to count each group of coins and write their values on top. Are you ready to go along with me? Remember, when we count nickels, we count in fives. So here we go. Five, 10. This is 10 cents. So we will write 10 cents. All righty. Now here we go. Five, 10, 15. So this group has 15 cents. Do you see it? This one is easy peasy. We don't even have to count because we know one nickel has a value of five cents. We have two nickels here again. So five, 10. This has a value of 10 cents. Whew. We got through the first column. So let's go now and look at the second column. Do you remember that five pennies is the same as one nickel? Well, let's count the nickels anyway. This is the nickel. This is worth five cents. Hmm. How many pennies are there? One, two, three, four, five. So here's what I think we should do. We should circle these five pennies because we know that five pennies is the same as one nickel. So to get to the total faster, we're going to skip count. So here we go. Five, 10. Do you see it? Did you get that? So this group of coins is worth 10 cents. If we look here, we'll see that these are three nickels. Five, 10, 15. So the value of this, so the value of this group of coins then is 15 cents. Do you remember that five pennies is the same as one nickel? So let's circle a group of five pennies. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, 
three, four, five. So the value of this group of coins then is 10 cents, of course. Our final group of coins is a group of pennies. Let's turn it into one group of five. And that's easy peasy. This is a value of five cents. Now, we need to go ahead and match each group of coins. So, this was 10 cents, and this was 10 cents. That matches. This was 15 cents, and this was 15 cents. That matches. This was 5 cents, and this was 5 cents. That matches. This was 10 cents. And this was 10 cents. Whew. Did you get all of that? I sure hope so. Well, we've come to the end of our lesson on counting nickels. Did you remember the very important things I said in this lesson? Well, we looked at the American and the Bahamian nickels this time. We also learned that five pennies is the same as one nickel. So that helps us with skip counting. Don't forget, when we count nickels, we count in fives. Don't forget to navigate the virtual learning page for your resources for this week's mathematics lessons. It's been a pleasure working with you this week and I'll see you soon. Take care, bye-bye.